What if you were trapped inside your own home? Going outside gave you headaches, fatigue, a sudden rash. What if the symptoms were caused by technology? We're surrounded by electronic devices, cell phones, TVs, DVRs, VCRs, home entertainment systems. Every one of them emits radiation. For some people, it makes them sick. In a story you'll only see on News 7, now they're moving cross-country to a tiny part of West Virginia called Green Bank to find their cure. It's difficult for me to know that it's an affliction that can be shared with anyone. Anyone can get this. Tranquil Pocahontas County is not where Diane Scow planned to end up. It's not perfect here. Scow and her husband were farmers in Iowa. When a cell phone tower was built near their home, she says her problem started. I had hair loss. I thought that's growing older. I had a rash. I thought maybe it was something I had eaten. I was extremely tired. Diane Scow has headaches. Eventually, she connected the dots. She says the electromagnetic radiation from the tower made her sick. Her doctor agreed. And we told him about the cell tower, and his reaction was, move. That's the only cure? That's the only cure. Get away from it. While not a formal diagnosis in America, electromagnetic sensitivity is recognized in several European countries. And last May, the World Health Organization classified it as a carcinogen. I would call myself a refugee fugitive, and I would say it's electromagnetic radiation fugitive. She's found peace and health in West Virginia, inside the National Radio Quiet Zone, a 13,000 square mile piece of land free from most radio signals. Inside it are Covington, Clifton Forge, Lexington, and Buena Vista. But even more restrictive is the 10 mile radius around a massive radio telescope that maps outer space. This is the Green Bank Telescope, and without it, there'd be no quiet zone. It's taller than the Statue of Liberty and receives radio waves from across the universe. But any electromagnetic signal within a 10-mile radius could potentially ruin their research. It's been uh, likened to the energy given off by a single snowflake hitting the ground. That's how weak these signals are. Mike Holstein works at the site and says they constantly monitor for any electromagnetic radiation that would disrupt work in Green Bank. No Wi-Fi, cell phones, or rogue radio waves are allowed. I think people that come here are simply trying to get out of pain. It's a life and death situation. Michelle Bubness and her husband moved just outside Green Bank in April. A few years ago, she noticed electronics giving her a burning on the side of her face. She, too, was diagnosed by doctors with electromagnetic sensitivity. I need to be in a radiation-free environment so that I can think and I can function uh, as a human being. The couple is building a home near the telescope. When she lived in Texas, for months she was a shut-in, living in a back bedroom in her house. I can go outside now. When the, at my house in Austin, there was so much radio frequency around. So everyone had Wi-Fi. Um, it was. It, I, I couldn't go outside. And even though this is not the life she wanted, some parts of her life have been changed for the better. Suffering um, makes a person more compassionate. It makes a person more understanding. It makes a person count their blessings. There aren't steadfast estimates on how many people suffer from electromagnetic sensitivity, but health organizations around the world put it between 2 and 5 percent of people. People in Green Bank say only a handful have moved to the area to seek relief, but all expect more to move there in the future.